The typical trainer that most people learn how to fly in is a Cessna 172. It's also called the Cessna Skyhawk. It has been around for, oh, 60, 70 years at this point. It's been around for a long, long time. It's a tried and true design. It, I wouldn't say it does anything spectacularly, but it does what it needs to do really well. It's a very strong, rugged trainer. Takes, can take a lot of abuse. It's very gentle on students. It's relatively easy to fly. I would guess that probably more than half of the pilots in the world initially learned how to fly on a Cessna 172. Um, there's newer planes, there's better planes, um, but that's the one that still most of the people are using out there and that's what the majority of our flight line is. If you happen to be a person of smaller stature um, or a smaller weight, then we also have a Cessna 152, which is even a little bit older. It's only a two-seater, but it can um, accommodate larger people in it. Um, and then we also have, for people who want more modern um, design, we have a diamond that our fleet, which is, has a glass panel, has the newest avionics. It's a little bit faster than the 172s. It's a little bit more fun to fly, and slightly bit more, a little bit more expensive. Um, and then, of course, we have the multi-engine trainers or the retractable gears and things like that. But the, most people are going to come here, they're going to learn on a 172, and they're going to join the legions of pilots who've you know, broken the ice on that plane as well.